And what's going on, everybody? We back playing Detroit Become Human. What's going on, everybody? I don't remember what we doing. We are currently Connor since we were the Hank. Hey, man, don't hit my boy. How dare you? Let's go. Make sure how we looking in terms of audio. We looking good. It's not too loud, not too quiet. Number five and the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Are they betting? Sure hot tip you gave me. Send it back a week's wages, baby. Come on. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Who's Pedro? Scan him. All right, let's go. Pedro Abdar. Illegal gambling and fraud. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. It's a bookie? Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? No. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? No, that's just me, boy. Why am I scanning so many things? Eating a hamburger with 1,700 calories. Go. Ah, oh. thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh? Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. All right, let's go. Hey. I'm just gonna tell him enjoy your meal. I'm not gonna ask about gambling or where's cholesterol. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. What? Have it? Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. This morning. When we were chasing those demons, you gotta know when to ask the specific question. You don't ask him about his cholesterol, and you don't ask the guy about his gambling habits. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Maybe. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. All right, maybe I shouldn't have asked. But we gotta ask about myself. Hell no. Huh. Yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? That is rude. Androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Damn. He called me ugly. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Well, that's interesting. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Dang. That is... Have dealt with deviants before? I don't know how to feel about his statement. I really don't. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof. With the oh, so that was significantly before Connor met Hank. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. Oh, dang it, man. 
I just got a report. Of That's not what I thought he would say when he said he lie. You should go have a look. I thought he would say maybe there's more to know than I. Maybe there's more for me to know. Oh my lord. Bad decisions. Bad decisions. I make a habit of it. I make a habit. Hey, Connor. What's going on? You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberline. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Where's the suspect? Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man. Feathers? Colum Columba, Livia, Rock Pigeon. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. He isn't going to open the door. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Um, um. I gotta save Hank. I can't let him do these things. Is there anything in here that concerns me? Okay, can we proceed? Thank you. What the fuck is this? Wow. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? Is that something your mom does when you're in Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Suspect is crazy. Anything in the fridge? All right, suspect's probably an android. Anything in here? RA9. Suspect is definitely an android. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. All right. Oh, he's above us. Ew, what is that? Blue blood. Andrew tries to remove that little chip in his head. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live without it. Uh, don't lick it, bro. Oh my. Oh, I thought he was gonna lick the bird poop. Oh my god, that scared me. Is there anything else in here? I know he I know he definitely would climb that thing, right? Okay, I don't see anything else of significance. Oh, window. No, he's not in there. I know for a fact he's not in there. I'm going I'm going. I'm gone. I'm going up the stool. Of course, it's a wooden stool. Traces of avian fecal matter. Uh, of course. There's avian fecal matter on everything. And an open marker pen. 
All right, let us reconstruct what's going on. Clearly suspect was here and he fell. Oh, I was wrong. So the suspect's probably behind that closet. I hate these things. I hate the birds too. Finger marks. What is that? A wire? Metal hook. Oh, it's for the for the thing. And scratches? Skin marks. So it was hanging. He probably knocked it over when he was running. There we go. Fell, knocked over, and ran in there. Oh, what? That's pretty clever to climb up there. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna hawk you. I'm gonna catch you so fast. Jump! Square. Jump. Alright, look at that. We got this. Jump. Cornfields. R2. Fast but risky. We're going for it. Wait, which one's fast or risky? We gotta take the fast but risky approach. We gotta catch him. Direct but crowded. Look out. Yeet! Jump. Look at that, bro. We're a track star. Jump over that. Let's go. Jump. Um, that way. I don't know how to get to him. Fast but risky. I don't know how to do it. Oh, okay, that way. Dun 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 dun. Jump. I don't I haven't got him yet. Jump. I've taken every single fast but fast but risky way. I don't understand how I still haven't gotten him. Holy shit. Connor's a superhuman though, uh, super android. Look at this. Climb! We're back to hunting him down. Alright, man, I heard you. Jeez, man. Direct but crowded. Which way did he go? He went right. Yeet! Oh, that was pretty clean. I don't know where he is. I can't see. Where'd he go? Oh no, Hank! I'm saving Hank. That's my boy. Hank's my boy. No android is worth more than a human's life, it's right? My fault. I should have been faster. Dude, I took every single direct way, but like you, st you have to either choose to save it, to save Hank or not. That's insane. What? Nothing. Aww. I thought he was going to appreciate me. And we saved Hank! But we didn't catch the Deviant. That's a shame. Did everyone else save Hank? Okay, everyone chose to save Hank. I'm not the only one. Um, what did I miss? 
Wait, you could have chosen not to talk to him? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. All right, next segment. Oh, yeah, Marcus found people. Found Jericho, that's what it's called. What's going on, Chief? Who are you? I'm me, who are you? Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Hello. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Wow. Lucid. were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. Oof, what a way to... What a statement. That was bold. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. That's all we can do. That's what we've got to do. You're safe here. Am I? You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Oof. What? Does Lucy give me clothes? Let's explore. What is it? Start fire. So we could see better. How do you have a lighter? Just keep it on you? Alright. But I can see a little better. Oh no. humans are afraid of dying too. You poor thing. No. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Wow. Marcus. Look at me, I'm all prim, prim and proper. And she died. All right. That was that hurt my feelings. That that hurt my heart. Let's find out what else is going on in Jericho. Oh no, this young child. Did he die too? Threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. Wow. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. Where can we, we get that? what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? Uh. They won't. We're slowly dying out. This is a very sad place. They're dying because they have no resources and to get resources they have to fight humans and humans just want to kill them. There's something over there. Oh, it's just another fire to start. Who are you? Oh, that's Simon. Oh, there's a fire right there. We gotta be able to see, even if we can't feel heat. 
Oh, this is like what bio components they have, but it's probably nothing. It's empty. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's empty too. Guarantee it. All right. But there's a warehouse that we can raid. Let's go talk to that person. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. Oh, there's no hope. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? <sighs> Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. She hates me. And that's not good. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. And just walk away, bro. I'm just making it worse. I'm just I'm just gonna leave. Oh my lord. I I, I should have just said nothing. I would have been better off. He's dying. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. That's torture. No, I, I don't want to shut down. So this brings up a conversation about artificial, artificial intelligence and what that means for humanity if we ever get to that point. If we get to artificial intel intelligence, will we be able to control it? Will it become sentient? What would happen? Anything else? Oh, there's a person over there. Hey, wait, wasn't there a fire here I should start? I always gotta start these fires, all right? We need to be able to illuminate the world. See, there you go. Now everyone's happier. There's another one over there. I'll take care of it. Don't worry, I got you. We got fire. We got fire. Oh, no, that wasn't a fire. Lol. Yeah, it's all the fires. We did it. We eliminated Jericho. What's going on over here? Who are you? Are you Lucy? Yes. Sit down. What happened? She's scary. Show me. Wait, what? What am I gonna show her? Oh, I, I got gashed. I guess. Stop the bleeding. Rip. He got sealed. Oh yeah, he doesn't feel pain, so this doesn't even hurt him. It's fine. And is that blue blood? Drink this. How do they even know the concept of drinking was programmed into them? Where'd they get that blue blood from? So many questions, no answers. Oh, he's terrified. He's like, Give me your hand. 
He doesn't know what's happening. Lucy, you scary. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. Clearly. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. She she like the uh, fate? What is she? A fortune teller? Proposing a plan to Simon. Alright. There he is. Just standing all by him lonesome. Not wanting to play with the fire I started. Because he's a child. Is there anything upstairs? No, that guy's blocking the stairs anyway. All right, Simon, what's good? Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Oh, we're back to neutral. I'm here for it. Maybe it's worth a try. Come on, guy. I'm in. Sick. We did everything we had to in Jericho. We're thorough. We're thorough. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. We're gonna make it a little short one today. We don't want to have it too. We want, we're gonna go with what? 25 minutes? We good? We good? If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. It's been your boy Bombs and see ya.